important step here is about your salary expectations if you are asked this question in the first round again do not say that i am open to negotiations or don't be in a state where you do not have a number always have a number in your mind and one tip here is here in germany instead of giving one number you can give them a range say between 60 to 65000 you can give them a certain range depending upon the welcome to my channel i am gurpreet working as a lead hr here in germany and today we are going to talk about each and every interview round that happens here in germany in my previous video i have given you an idea about different rounds that takes place when you are applying for a job here in germany however in this video we are going to go to each and every round and discuss in detail what is the whole purpose of this interview round what questions you can be asked and how should you reply in this interview round and also i'm going to talk about the last hr round when i hire a candidate what do i look in a candidate why do i select a candidate or why do i reject a candidate in hr round so it's going to be a very detailed video that's why i have divided this video into different parts so without wasting any time let's get start now let's go to the very first round of the interview process here in germany which is called as the pre screening round or it can also be called as the first round now who takes the pre screening round it can be taken directly by a recruiter or also directly by a hiring manager now the interview process of the pre screening round remains very similar to what is there in your home country maybe however there are few things that you need to really focus on and you need to really be sure of when you are attending this pre screening round now this pre screening round can either happen directly by a phone say a recruiter can casually call you and ask you talk to you for 10 15 minutes and know more about you over that phone or they can also directly schedule the first round over a teams interview and have a detailed 30 minutes to 45 minutes of discussion with you as i said this round can also be taken by the hiring manager directly it depends upon different companies so now uh, let's see and understand what uh, do a hiring manager or a recruiter is looking to know from you in this first or the pre screening round so of course the discussion will always start with tell us about yourself and what is very important here is that whatever you are explaining them about yourself it has to match to what you you have mentioned in your resume please understand the only reason why you are getting this call is because your resume is shortlisted and they have gone through your resume and they have read your resume in detail and that's why you are getting this call so you have to stick to what have you mentioned in your resume and one common mistake as a recruiter that i see from lot of candidates is that suppose their candidate has joined a new company in 2 3 months and they are still looking for a new job now always a candidate has this question should i mention this recent experience or should i not please always mention your recent experience in your resume even if it is for one month even it is for two months or three months or whatever it is i have seen candidates making this mistake where the resume is not up to date however when talking about their experience they have to mention their recent experience so that is when the gap comes and that gives a little red, red flag to the recruiter or the hiring manager so avoid that and always keep your resume up to date and only apply with your latest resume and not with your old resume so whenever you talk about yourself now here is a catch when you mention your experience in your resume you always mention in a top down approach whereas you mention your latest experience first then you go to your previous experience and then you go to your previous experience that is how a resume should be drafted however when you are talking about your experience in an interview uh, about the all the experience that you have gathered so far you have to always start with your first experience then go to the second the next experience and then at the end you have to come to your latest experience so that is a difference that happens when you are giving an interview and how do you create your resume 
and then you have to give them a brief idea about for how long you've been living in germany what is your reason to look for a change and also uh, your uh, motivation to join this company the next important question that they can ask you in this round is the motivation why do you want to join us now this is a major difference in the interview process here in germany and what i've seen in other countries and especially in india so basically here if you know or read about the company and you align your motivation to what is mentioned as per the company's goal or company's motive motivation then it will really help you so do not attend any interview process without reading about the company without reading about the role or even try to understand what kind of a team or the setup they work with and this, and this is very important this will give you a additional edge over all other candidates and i see so many candidates take this particular point so lightly i can understand you know you're applying for so many jobs and you cannot get time to read about every company but also understand that if you have got the first call that means your resume is shortlisted and now this particular company has given you you know an upgrade in the interview process it's the next level of the interview process so whenever you're attending the first pre-screening round before saying yes always go through the company always go through their linkedin page and their website and understand what the goal has been about the company the other tip i can give you is you can also go through the glassdoor reviews or other uh, websites you can use to know about the company and what can happen is when you have any questions to ask if you have a negative review or not so great review about the company then those questions you can ask in the hr round or in the last round however do not ask many questions in the pre screening round yes they can ask you do you have any questions but you can always say that uh, you can always ask basic questions like what is the interview process how many steps do we have in the interview how long uh, it will take uh, the interview process will take and so on now the other things that they can check in the pre screening round is basic things related to your salary expectations your visa what visa you have your how for long how long you've been staying in germany and your notice period and so on now important step here is about your salary expectations if you are asked this question in the first round again do not say that i am open to negotiations or don't be in a state where you do not have a number always have a number in your mind and one tip here is you're in germany instead of giving one number you can give them a range say between 60 to 65000 you can give them a certain range depending upon the role do a research there are so many websites available online go to glassdoor and see uh, search for your particular role and search for a particular company and or even search for a particular domain and see how much the candidates are earning in that particular role for that particular uh, section or those companies right you can always do that and based on your research then you can give them a number but always have a number in your mind as a recruiter when a candidate tells me that i don't know i am new to germany i don't know what my role should be paid that does not give a very great impression to be honest it makes me feel that the candidate is not serious about the role or the job see at the end let's be very honest to each other we are looking for a job yes we want to have get more experience but the final result of looking for a job is to earn to get money and if you tell us that you do not know and you're happy with anything that is not a very confident statement that comes across as a candidate so you are not asking for salary for free you are asking for salary for your role and if you are very confident about your role your expertise then you should have a value to it and you should always ask that value and never be shy about it so make sure next time whenever you attend an interview you always research about the salary that has been paid for that country 
Now, other thing I've noticed is because it is Germany and there's a lot of international crowd here, lot of candidates apply from different countries and maybe they are applying for a job first time in Germany and they sincerely do not know the role uh, or the salaries that needs to be paid for this particular role here in the country. I understand that, right? But that's why you have to do certain research and that is when you have to get certain market data and give them a value. Now, another tip here is that you can always ask the recruiter about the salary that they are willing to pay for this particular role. Most of the recruiters in most of the company share this information and also if they are not sharing this information, but if you ask them, then they can also inform you. Some of the recruiters might still tell you that, you know, we have not decided about the salary yet. We are still in discussion. That's fine. But it will not hurt you if you ask the recruiter, tell us a range about this role. Uh, what are you willing to pay? That's a perfectly common question here and it will not be taken against you as a candidate if you ask this. Okay, so I hope that helps. Then uh, the pre-screening round, if it ranges for say 30 to 45 minutes, it's basically to know about your experience, your motivation, your attitude and why do you want to work here in this company? That is a very, very, very important question and a very important uh, answer to give. Now, when you're talking about your experience and you're mentioning your previous experience in detail with the recruiter or the hiring manager in the pre-screening round, please understand that you have to stick to the point. Say if you've been asked a question and you try to over explain that, that does not work in your favor. So you have to stick to the point and at the max give one example or so, but do not over speak the interviewer. I have also seen some candidates. I ask them, tell me about yourself or give me a brief introduction about you and they go on for 20 minutes. Now, the interview itself is for 30 minutes and if you go on explaining about yourself for 20-25 minutes, that does not give any room for the interviewer to ask you the main critical questions that the interviewer has prepared and then the interviewer will not get to know a lot of things and that's a clear no to uh, you. And I also see sometimes candidates feel if they keep on talking, then they will not be asked many questions. Well, that's a very wrong myth. Okay. And in case if you do that, you are reducing your chances of getting selected. It's better to allow the interviewer to speak and keep your introduction between five minutes maximum, you know. Do not go beyond five to six minutes. I think that's enough for you to introduce yourself and then let the interviewer ask the questions. The more questions the interviewer is asking, the more rapport you will build with the interviewer and the more information you can share with each other and they will get to know more about you in detail, in depth, not just the uh, outside of it, not just your resume side of it, you know. Then the other thing that is important in the pre-screening round is you can ask your set of questions like what is the job work location, whether it's a hybrid model or is a work from office uh, role and uh, whether it's a full time position, it's an unlimited contract or a limited contract. Uh, these are certain questions that you can ask them uh, if you want to. So overall the pre-screening round is nothing but giving your more information to the recruiter and talking more about your experiences, your uh, current role and what is your motivation to join the company. Now, in case if you're selected in this round, then you go to the next round, which can be the technical round or the case study round, which happens with the hiring manager or the technical team who is hiring you. Now the technical round here, it can be a little bit different than what you are used to in your home country or especially in India. So make sure you watch my next video to understand how do you crack the technical round or the case study round here in Germany. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Goodfried, the lead HR here in Germany.